Hello everyone. Look what we have today. Today's going to be a different type of video. It's not going to be a recipe video. It's going to be a video on what should we do to improve our planet. I know a lot of you say, you know what, there's nothing we can do about it. It's an ugly plastic world, but let me tell you something. It is an ugly plastic world. And if we don't do something today, our kids are going to have a harder time as they get older. And then their kids, <clears throat> sorry, and then their kids, it's going to even be worse and worse and worse. So I think that it's important that we take the time to realize what are we doing to this planet and make a difference, even if it's a little difference. And I'm just going to show you an example of our ugly plastic world. I don't know about you, but this is not even a fraction of stacks that I have that come to my door. And I have two front doors, so guess what happens? I get two bags for my house, and then there's a tenant that lives upstairs and they get a third bag so we get three bags of this a week now this is crazy yes okay fine uh, flyers in there that tells us where to get our specials of the week I mean today you could go online and check for promotions but they still come to our door I've left it hanging outside telling them basically if you hang leave it outside where they left it and you haven't taken it they're supposed to not leave anymore at your house so we've left them hanging out there and guess what they still keep coming instead of one bag we're going to find two bags hanging in the same spot so i pretty much gave up on this for now but i want to show you something that i'm doing now i'm going to put this aside we're going to talk about this later but i'm going to show you my daughter is trying to go zero waste i am trying to make a difference on this planet it is hard uh everything you buy today you got to find a place where um you could um buy things in bulk and bring your bag which i do uh, my daughter does also they are getting better stores are getting better where they you have the option to bag some of your stuff which is an option right guys so you do the best you can do but i'm going to show you something We've got these straws that we refuse to use because they're plastic straws. I'm not sure if any of, you, any of you have seen some of those videos where they find turtles with these straws stuck in their sinus. Uh, this is really not good for our planet. It will end up in the ocean. And once our ocean is gone, so is our planet. So we are refusing to use this. Recycle doesn't even take this. So right now it's just collecting space in my cabinet so we've been buying what you call paper straws we have found places that have paper straws like the dollar store but it is so thin that you take a couple of sips and then your paper turns into mush so that's not a good deal you go to michael's you can find some decent uh paper straws but again they're better in strength but they're more expensive where it's costing way too much money and I'll tell you something today if it costs money people don't want to spend it there's a lot of people trying to uh, save some money or put money aside or just try and not have to spend so much money on things like straws do we need straws no we don't need straws can we buy a glass straw yes we can can we buy a fiberglass yes we can but what happens to the fiberglass the fiberglass again is going to be thrown out into the landfill and it's going to be there forever so forget the glass straw can we buy stainless steel yes you can you can buy a stainless steel one that's a way to go and um you all you have to do is get yourself one of those little uh, a cleaner made for straw yeah you can get either a straw cleaner which is a very long skinny brush where you could clean your stainless steel so that's a way to go uh, but when you have people coming over your house and you want to hand them a straw, do you want to hand them one of your used stainless steel one? Some people mind, some people don't mind. But that's why I carry some of the papies, pee -pee, pee -pee, paper straws at home. So if somebody does come over, I can just give them one and then it goes into your compost bin to put back into the garden. So this is a way to go if you could get some for when people come. 
do not buy any more plastic it really is this is the destroyer of our planet really is so here we go paper straws for when people come but my daughter was looking online and she says oh ma look how nice these bamboo straws are oh lord when i went to look at the prices there was uh, eighteen dollars and eighteen cents for four of them uh, if you want a set of eight bamboo straws there's another guy selling it for thirty eight dollars so my daughter had this bright idea what happens if we buy those skinny little bamboo sticks and cut our own straws that's a good idea so we were in the middle of doing some work my hubby was out we told him Phil go see if you could find a bamboo stick not thick we don't want it too thick we want them really skinny so this way we can use it as a straw we'll cut them so he comes home because he was next to a dollar store and he comes home with two of these I'm there like whoa yes we can use this so we took one apart and guess what he made straws this cost us a total of, I think, $1.50. No, less. 80, 89 cents. 89 cents? Mm -hmm. I thought it was $1.50. This cost us no more than 89 cents where my husband found it. And look how many straws you can make with this. A bunch of straws. Now, I didn't take this one apart because this is more than enough for me, Eric, and my husband. I'm going to show you. I've got one in my jar of water. There's a little lime in there. And it works fantastic fantastic and you know what when you're done with one of these it goes straight into the ground and it's biodegradable yes you do have to clean them you could even boil these in boiling water if you have to and then let them dry and you've got your straws again so for the family i think this is a great way to go if you have people over get some paper straws you go anywhere like michael's that you're going to be able to find some decent strong straws um you can uh, get uh, get some there or if you go on Amazon they have 25 straws for $14 yes save them for your guest do something like this instead and it really makes a difference my daughter's enjoying hers I'm enjoying mine and it's like why didn't I think of this earlier and if it wasn't for my daughter Erica I would still be Throwing away stuff I shouldn't. Okay, no. so yes. I should also mention that when these are done, yes, all you just compost them. Yes, I did mention that. Yes, so there you go in the compost, and it will nature will do its own thing rather than having a plastic straw that's going to be there forever and ever. Your great 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 grandkids will still find that plastic uh, straw. So try and let that go do not buy plastic guys really don't do it for yourself do it for the the future kids that are either in our life now or will be coming into our life now here's another thing that i do and i'm going to show you i in the summer will throw my compost in my garden in the winter i just don't want to collect all that stuff outside and let all the raccoons make a mess not that they shouldn't eat they i don't mind feeding the animals but if I have to put my compost out there, I'm going to be picking up compost everywhere because they are messy and they're going to put compost all over my backyard. So in the winter, I do the city compost and they sell these and I was buying these. But you know what? They start getting expensive. What I do is not use these anymore and I'll tell you why. These are the ones with the, see the liner? Now that is a biodegradable liner, but see how shiny it is? So there is this type of bag and there is this type of bag. But again, it costs money. And I have all these type of bags <laughs> come to me every week. Every week the good Lord makes these are sitting out there waiting for me to pick up. But instead of spending money on this, why don't we use this and make a little difference, right? So what do I do with the plastic part? Unfortunately, the plastic part either goes into the recycle bin or I keep them in the house to put bananas if I'm putting them in the freezer, if I'm doing anything that needs to be um, 
put into the freezer and then I keep washing them as much as I can and then they do. I make a knot and it goes into the recycle bin. So that's what I do with the plastic. But I'm going to show you who doesn't have something like this around the house, right? And if you don't have it, you could pick one up at the dollar store for a couple of bucks. But here's what you can do. And this was thanks to my daughter who found somebody who does this online. I get very lazy. What I do, I'll tell you, is I open it up, make sure it's like double or triple. And then I just put my fist in the middle and I pick everything up and I just jam it in my bin. That's how I do it. But if you want to be a little more neat rather than the way I do it, here is a way of doing it. You open up your sheet. I'm sorry my camera is not in the best angle but you'll get the drift. You're going to make a, a triangle. Do you see it? There you go. We're going to fold that that way. See? And then we're going to take like this. There you go. This goes over this way. So we're going to put, you want to make like a square at the end. Okay? So there, you don't put it up that way. You got to bring it over this way. So we're going to make a square. Then you're going to take this and you see how we're making it? You're going to put your finger there. And we're going to bring this over to line it up to that side. I know, my way is easier, right? Just bunch it up. <laughs> and then we're going to take one, two sheets, and we're going to bring this over. And those two sheets go over to the back. And look what we have. We have our own bag. Put a fist in. Grab your container, and there is our bin where we're going to put our compost. When you're cooking, you cut an onion, it gets thrown in there, or you could do what I do. I lay out a sheet, I cut all my vegetables, and then I just bundle it up and put it in my, uh, my brown bin. But here's a way of doing it, and if you are worried that it might... Um, that it might get wet at the bottom and when you grab it, it's going to come through. It hasn't happened to me. But if you're worried, they have, oh, sorry. They have smaller uh, flyers that you really can't do anything with them. So I just fold this in half and I crunch it in to the bottom. And now, whatever I throw in there, it's not going to get soggy at all. This will not get soggy at all. And there is your little bin ready. You can leave this on the counter. And as you're cooking or making food, you have a place to throw your scraps in. So there's a way you could do it. Or again, like I said, I take one or two sheets, open it up. And as I cook, I leave it on the counter. I don't always do it for videos because I try to make my counter look as nice as I can but I've shown you how I do this on uh, on camera where I put all my vegetable here my carrots peel 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 and then I just bundle this up and I have my little bundle that I throw into uh, my brown bin and when the city passes by they take it away and in the um, in the summer I still collect it and then I go into the garden, dig a hole, and I throw my bundles in. And I usually, here yeah, I'm going to show you, say this is my garden bed. This is where I've got my tomatoes planted. I'll dig a hole right, in, not where the tomatoes planted, right in front. And that's where I bury my compost. And as I water my garden, eventually all of this is going to go, the roots are going to take all the food that's being fed to our garden. So that's a way of going. Uh, like I said, you know what, these are little steps. The, it doesn't take that much time out of your life. It really doesn't. If anything, you're going to feel good that you're doing this. You're going to feel good drinking out of one of these straws. You're going to feel good giving someone a paper straw rather than a plastic one that your poor kids won't have a planet to, to call their own. 
um, instead of spending money. Because these do, they add up. Take this, take these flyers and put them to use and put that dollar in your pocket and maybe enjoy a trip somewhere. So there you go. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with these. The city won't even collect these. Kind of sad. city does not take plastic straws for, uh, comp uh, for uh, recycle. So what do you do with this mess? And you know how many people buy straws? I can't even tell you how many straws are out there. It's a plastic, plastic world. Even these, look what they come in. Yes, these were my first purchase. Then my daughter told me, she goes, Ma, what you doing? You just bought straws, but they're in plastic. You see? I bet somebody already was about to say that and leave a comment for me, right? But look, guys, after my daughter told me that, I says, oh, my God, you're so right, Erica. I just bought straws to, sa to save the planet, but it comes in plastic that's still going to destroy the planet. I'm going to use them. I'm going to try and recycle that. I don't know if the city's even going to take that. They probably will throw that in the landfill because that's what they do. If it's not recyclable, the city actually takes all the pieces that are not recyclable and they just throw it in the garbage and it ends up in the ocean but after my daughter told me about that look what I did still has plastic I know but it comes it's less plastic it comes in a paper box I'm hoping that someone's going to be nice enough to maybe draw some pictures of the straw in the front and eliminate that crazy plastic that is that's on this box the rest is all paper but that piece there is plastic. The idea is not to have the plastic anymore. I can't wait for that day to come when plastic is going to be illegal. And I don't care. If somebody's going to put a fine on plastic, let them put a fine on plastic. Maybe that's what's going to, that's what we're going to need to let people stop uh, using it. So there you go, guys. Paper straws, bamboo straws. If you want to get stainless steel, Pick up some stainless steel for the family. Uh, don't buy the plastic straws anymore. Make your own little compost pouch. Very easy to do. Uh, this costs like a couple of bucks at the store. And you might even have something that you could put your, um, to put your little pouch in and just make life easy. I hope I didn't bore you guys. I'm going to try and put some pictures for you to see what really is happening on our, on our planet. Uh, maybe uh, a little video clip if I could manage to squeeze something in. Because it was man-made and we'd put it into their environment. The record is 276 pieces of plastic inside of one 90-day-old chick. If the plastics are in the food chain for the dolphin, they're also in our food chain. Exactly. Just to let people see, because a lot of people uh, don't stop and realize. They think that, oh, it's going into the recycle bin. The city will take care of it. The city will actually... Take all that stuff that they can't use and they just dump it in the garbage. And it's very sad because our landfills are scary. Communities are built on these landfill sites. So sweet potatoes, corn, sugar cane. All growing on 40 years of garbage. The birds are eating it. <laughs> Especially seagulls. They eat everything, those birds. They don't care if it's plastic, metal, or glass. They just eat it. So uh, they're dying. And, you know, we keep killing our animals. We keep killing our planet. You know, we might as well stop having babies because there's not going to be a planet for them. I know. I don't want to sound like the black cloud over your over your house today but I'm trying to make a difference and if I could put the word out and just show you if an old horse like me who's going to be 61 this year if I can make a difference on this planet and decide to make a difference you guys who are probably a lot younger than me can also make a difference this doesn't take much to do 
it's up to you to make a difference for this planet. Just to show you that I really have no idea what I can do with this. Even if you use it for your kids, for crafts, guess what that craft is going to go? It's going to go in the garbage. That straw is still going to make it in the garbage. You can't escape that. This is going to go in the garbage. And I don't want to sound angry because I'm not usually an angry person. But I just want to tell you guys, let's, let's start and make a difference. And let's do every little bit helps. Whatever you do helps. We have to make our life better for our kids' children. Change is possible. It starts with us. Uh, but I'm going to try and make this video as informative as I can. Maybe put even some links on some documentaries you guys should look at because when you see that, your heart is going to cry. I mean, it's just something, something so horrible that's happening. And I keep telling everybody, oh, they show you all these uh, vacation places where the water is clean and the sand is white. Well, yeah, they're going to keep that area clean for you. But they're not going to show you, if you go around the bend, what the city really looks like in that island. It's dirty. It's messy. So don't look and say, oh, our world is beautiful. Look on TV. Look how beautiful the sand, the sand is. Look how beautiful the water is. Eight million metric tons of plastic trash enters the sea from land every year. The equivalent of five plastic bags filled with trash for every foot of coastline in the world. Across our ocean, plastic trash flows into circulation, dispersed almost everywhere, but concentrating in huge swaths. Because in reality, if you go around the bend, Go around the corner, you're going to see junk, lots of junk, lots of garbage. And most of those things are plastic bags, plastic straws, plastic everything that's just lying around everywhere. So it is up to me. It is up to you. And you know what? Teach your kids to pick up because there's nothing worse than seeing a messy, messy area or a messy planet. Do you have anything not wrapped in plastic? No. No. <laughs> so I'm going to say I love you guys. Thank you for listening to this rant. I hope some of you are going to take some of these tips and bring it into your life because I see it made a difference in mine. We're a lot happier when we do this. And uh, next, uh, in a few days actually, I'm going to put up a new giveaway and this is going to go everywhere and uh, it's going to be my uh, shopping bag and my produce bags again. So you guys have a chance to win produce bags where you don't have to come home with a plastic bag when you go buy vegetables. So uh, that's going to be in a couple of days and everybody could be part of that giveaway. So I'm going to say thank you again. Love you guys, and guess what? I'll see you in my next video. Growing up, my world was the ocean. It's where I feel the most spiritual. As a free diver, it was the place where I proved myself to myself. Finally, I have the opportunity to pay the sea back. Only a fraction of the plastic that we produce is recycled. This is never gonna degrade. It's got nowhere to go. to make our life better for our kids' children. Change is possible. It starts with us.